Subscribe to my channel to learn about health-related knowledge. What I will talk about today is the difference between uterine bleeding and uterine fibroids. Dysfunctional uterine bleeding and uterine fibroids have many similarities in clinical symptoms. Now we can distinguish the difference between uterine bleeding and uterine fibroids, bleeding from the causes, manifestations, and auxiliary examinations of the two types of bleeding. The reason. 1. Functional uterine bleeding is fatigue, emotional stress, environmental changes, and other factors that interfere with the coordination mechanism between the hypothalamus-pituitary ovarian axis of the human body, causing ovarian dysfunction, disordered sex hormone secretion, and leading to periodic changes in the endometrium abnormal. 2. There are more estrogen receptors in uterine fibroids than normal uterine muscle tissue. The occurrence of uterine fibroids is related to the long-term high content of estrogen, leading to endocrine disorders. At the same time, hormone metabolism is regulated by the high-level nerve center, and the promotion of nerve center activity may also play an important role. In particular, the three types of women who are not childbearing, sexual imbalance, and temperament depression, are most likely to develop uterine fibroids. Bleeding 1. The clinical symptoms of dysfunctional uterine bleeding are similar to those of uterine fibroids. Those who are more difficult to identify are those with small uterine fibroids and more obvious bleeding symptoms. More common in adolescents and menopausal women. It is manifested as abnormal menstrual cycle and menstrual period. Bleeding may occur from time to time, sometimes no, or even dripping, and there may be heavier irregular bleeding. 2. Uterine fibroids bleeding mostly occur in submucosal and intramural fibroids, manifested as menorrhagia, prolonged menstruation, or irregular vaginal bleeding. The main cause of increased bleeding is the increase of the endometrial area, due to the effect of estrogen to the endometrial hyperplasia, fibroids hinder the contraction of the uterus, and affect the blood circulation to make the endometrial hyperemia. Due to long-term bleeding, there are often varying degrees of anemia. Auxiliary Inspection Patients with dysfunctional uterine bleeding sometimes have a larger uterus than normal. Differential diagnosis can be made by B ultrasound, diagnostic curatage, or hysteroscopy. Auxiliary examination of smaller fibroids, especially submucosal fibroids, is difficult to diagnose by gynecological examination alone. B mode ultrasound can clearly show the size and location of fibroids and is one of the main methods for diagnosing uterine fibroids. In diagnostic curatage, the inner lining can be felt protruding or obviously uneven. Through the above examination, the diagnosis can usually be made. For uterine fibroids that grow rapidly or continue to increase after menopause, those who change from hard to soft should be considered as having uterine sarcoma.